Hello, 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 hello. This is Elf Committee from Venus Crafty Corner. And recently I did a um, did a live and I asked people, you know, hey, what is some stuff that you would like to see uh, in the coming year? Give me some ideas. And one of the things that everybody said unanimously was that they wanted to see some fabric beads. Now, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do fabric beads, okay? So, I mean, there's like the sew the tube, put the pearls in, tie it off, boom, you have fabric beads. There's wrap fabric around wires and all kinds of stuff. So, I kind of wanted to get started on something that was a little easier to do, something we all had around the house and something that uh, we could have some fun with. So, I decided to bring back kind of an oldie but goodie. And so we're going to do these. And these are Tyvex beads. These are beads made from Tyvex, which we usually have in abundance. Uh, and that is, you know, the, the used Tyvex postal envelopes. So we're going to be making some Tyvex beads. And I am going to show you how to do these and how to finish them and, you know, how you can string them and all kinds of stuff like that. So without further ado. I'm going to go ahead and get out all of the supplies that we're going to need for this one. It's a lot. Don't, don't freak out on me. It's a lot of stuff, guys. I'll be right back with your supply list. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so the first thing that we're going to want here is obviously some Tyvex, okay? So this is a mailer that I got and I took everything out of it and the mailer was in good shape. The other side was a little torn up, but I managed to save a piece of it. So we're going to use some Tyvex. You are also going to obviously want some scissors for this one. You're going to want some thick floral wire. This is Dollar Tree wire and it's really super thick. If you can't find this, you can always use these little picks. You just have to cut the points off the end of them, but those work as well. You're going to want a piece of paper or something to keep your work surface clean. And then for all you mixed medias, you're gonna want a selection of sponges and shapes and decor that you can use to create your background, okay? So obviously, paints. I recommend um, the jewels. So I have some sapphire, some garnet, some amethyst, and some gold. And then I have some really thin craft wire. This is really super thin. I have some of that. I have some seed beads. And I just picked the silver because it's just, you know, it's basic. It'll help to decorate with. Some triple thick or some high gloss varnish, whichever one you prefer. Some glue and an empty jar. And you're gonna want the empty jar because as we make the beads and we need them to dry, you can hook them into your jar and that allows any of the extra uh, sealer to drip into the jar as opposed to making a mess all over your craft space, okay? So I'm gonna get this cleared off and we're gonna get started. We're gonna get our Tyvex out, our paint and uh, some palettes, and we're gonna get started on prepping our Tyvex. I'll be back in just a few moments. Okay, for obvious reasons, we are going to start out with um, one color at a time here because we don't want it to dry. And then I cut my Tyvex down to a usable size. So. I'm going to start with the sapphire. And I'm just going to put some on my palette here. And then I'm going to use a sponge. And I'm going to sponge this paint all over. Okay, this doesn't have to be perfect but you do have to get the color on here. So once I'm done 
with this color and it dries we're going to move on to the next color now if you have a jelly plate you want to do this on your jelly plate fantastic you can use inks or whatever you want to do to use that i would love to see how that comes out go ahead and send me a picture on my facebook group post it to my group so that i can see what it looks like and i'm not going to totally saturate this paper with this color i'm just getting it on there okay so once i have it on here and a pretty you know done it with different intensity and I got it where I want it and this is my base so I'm going a little thicker than I normally will um, we'll go ahead and start adding the other colors and as we add additional colors we will see less and less of the white underneath now you could start painting this you know start off by painting this with another color if you want it to like if you wanted to put a base color on it that's entirely up to you so I've got this I still have some white shining through that's all that matters uh, I'm gonna wait for this to dry I will be back and we'll put on our second color and then I'll show you how we'll proceed on to the next step all right we now have a piece of Tyvex that has been painted and there's three colors on here there is um, let's see we've got some of the garnet on here we have sapphire on here and then we have some gold just put over the top and I just used three different techniques to get it on here just so that I had some different textures and it looks and now we're gonna cut so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut kind of at an angle off the edge get rid of that and then we're just gonna cut diagonal okay so we're going to cut a lot of long triangles. And they don't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of this. Okay. We just want to basically cut triangular shapes. So once we have some of these cut, we're going to move on to the next part of this. And for the next part of this, we're going to be using our floral wire, which I have lost. So I'm going to get out my floral wire here and I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to be cutting a piece about four or five inches long. It doesn't really matter. I just want it long enough to be able to work with it. And this Dollar Tree wire cuts pretty easy. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to take my piece of Tyvex. And I'm just going to wrap it. Now this takes a little bit of patience to get it started. But once you get it started, it rolls pretty easy on there. And I'm just going to roll it around until I get to the end. And I don't like to have the points, so I cut my points off. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here. And the glue is just to hold this while I wrap everything up. Okay. And you can see it gives you kind of a really neat pattern on there. I'm going to put a hook on this and I'm going to bend the bottom just a little bit. That's going to keep the bead from sliding off of here. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to set it in my jar to hold on to it for me. So I'm going to continue to do these. Now anything like this where I've got this big square spot here, just cut it off. All right. Another piece of wire. 
and wrap it up. I'm gonna get all of these wrapped. And then I'm gonna come back and we're going to move on to the next part of this. So before I go, I am going to show you another rolling and wrapping technique. If you want to make a bunch of beads and you want them all to be the same size, you're going to use just a straight piece of Tyvex. Let me get this glued up. Over. Okay. Like that. Put a hook in here. In it goes. All right. So let's take a look at the other one. So the for the other one. We're going to cut a piece of wire, straighten it out, and then we're going to cut a piece of our Tyvex straight across. Okay. And then we're just going to do the same thing with this. We're just going to wrap it on here. Put a little bit of glue on the end. Oops. And I'm going to roll that up. Okay. Now, because this one's a little bit longer, I am going to put a couple of clips on here just to hold it. And I don't want it to be too tight, but I want it to hold it. And then I'm going to hang that on the outside of my jar. So I'm going to show you what to do with those when we come back. I'm going to get all these wrapped up, and then I will be back to show you how we're going to um, seal these and finish them. Now, once these are all wrapped up and the glue has dried, you can go ahead and take these out, and then what you're going to do is take your heat gun, and you're just going to heat them to start melting the Tyvex. Now, be real careful here, because this is metal, this little wire is metal, and so it will heat up, and I don't want you to burn your hands doing this, okay? But once you have all of these done, and you'll be able to tell, because Tyvex is actually made from like a blown plastic, so it will melt down, and you'll be able to see that that bead has formed, okay? So now the next thing is to seal. Now you could use triple thick if you wanna use triple thick. I like to use the DuraClear and I put it in a little uh, bottle, little squirt bottle like this. And then what I do is I take my little beads and I just put this on and I just turn it as I go and it will settle all over the bead okay just use the point kind of squish it around and then I just hang it in the jar to dry and I'm gonna do all of these this way I'm gonna seal them all up and you can use a brush if you want to however you want to get this on there basically I just put it on and then I use the side of the point to kind of move it around a little bit to 
coat my bead and then you just hang it up to dry okay now as you go through you may find beads that you don't like the look of but that doesn't mean that it's not going to look okay in the end so coat it anyway okay Put a little bit on there and you're going to feel that feels almost plastic as you are putting this on because you've melted the plastic, the blown plastic in the Tyvex. All right, a little more sealer here. I'm gonna seal all these up and I'm gonna let them dry, which is actually gonna take pretty much overnight. So I won't see you guys until tomorrow. Of course, it'll be just a few seconds here on the video. Or you can pause it at this point and come back yourself tomorrow after these have dried. Now, if all you have is Mod Podge, that'll work as well doesn't matter whatever the sealer is that you're using okay just go ahead and put it on and seal these up and then we will come back and I will show you a couple of things that you can do to dress these up even more okay all right so these have all dried and we're going to take them out now some of these may have some of your varnish on the wire. So what you're gonna do is just kind of push a little bit to separate that edge. Just put your nail into it, give it a little bit of a pinch and it'll start to move. When it starts to move, you can go ahead and just pull it right off. Now, if you have varnish down on here, you're gonna have to clean that varnish off. But look at that, I've got a bead, okay? And now I have this like really thin craft wire. So you can see this is really super, super thin, okay? So I'm gonna take a piece of this, about six to eight inches, 10 inches, you know, whatever. And I got this at the Dollar Tree. So it's not like incredibly good wire. Just like this is not an incredibly good pair of wire cutters. Um, there we go. All right. And <clears throat> I have these seed beads. These are silver. And they are six O's. So I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to put a few in here. Now, if you want to leave your bead just the way it is, you can leave it just the way it is. Okay. If you're happy with that, then you can leave it like that. If you want to add something to your bead, you can fish your wire through, bring it up, and then you're going to feed a seed bead onto this wire, bring it down, wrap it around, you can put another bead on. Wrap it around. Another bead. Wrap it around. Now here's the thing. When you wrap the wire around, you want to go around the bead. Okay. It's going to lock the bead in place. And just make sure that you drop your wire nice and tight around it, okay? <coughs> so. So I've got my bead here. I'm going to take my wire and go and wrap around the bead okay and then I'm gonna bring it back down now to get rid of that little piece of wire I'm just gonna keep wrapping it okay so now I have my little bead and I have some little seed beads on it see just for a little sparkle 
and I don't have to do this. If I don't want to add the seed beads to it for the look, I don't have to add seed beads to it. I could just take one of my beads, take this one, let's get this one separated. Again, I'm just pushing on the edge with my nail just to clear uh, any of the varnish off. And then I'm just gonna push this off, just like that. And I'm gonna get another color wire here. Feed it down through, bring it up, and then I'm just going to wrap my wire around my bead all the way to the end. I'm going to go back the other way. And I could just wrap wire around it. Or if I really want to, just take my bead, release it from the wire, pull it off, and leave it just the way it is, okay? Now, we talked about making this long bead, and you know, if you wanted to just make like straight beads. So you just do it like you do the normal bead. And then you just cut your lengths. Remember, you're just cutting through paint and tie bags here and some varnish, no big deal. But now I have those nice square looking beads. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna clear this stuff out of the way and then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the rest of these beads. So here's the beads. So this one here is one of the original ones that I made. And this one. So these are two of the original ones. And this is the original long bead that I made. And you can see I did this one in the spiral pattern because I really just wanted to have a long bead. Okay, so let's take a look at the ones that we just made. And we have a couple of different varieties here. So let me kind of move these over so we can take a look. So the first thing we have is this one here, and this is just a bead that we put, we added some wire to it, and we added on um, some seed beads onto this, just to give it a different look, okay? And then we add this one where we just added some wire to it to add color and a little interest, see? And then we have all of these other ones that are just, you know, different varying sizes and widths and shapes. And we have this one, which actually started its life as one big long bead that we just cut in half to give it that kind of squared edge that you see. So those are my beads for today, guys. That's it, all made from Tyvex. Listen, if you are new here and you have not done so already, go ahead and hit the red button for me, like me, ring my bell, and share me with all of your friends, and then your friends can be my friends, and my friends can be your friends, and hey, our friends can get to be friends, and that is how you start a community. Until I see you again, please stay safe. Bye-bye.